Premium e-bike manufacturer Wacky has released its new top-of-the-line bike, and it's a beast. The H6 model, which arrived in America in early July of 2022, is a very impressive bike, exceeding every hope I had for the next Wacky and adds unexpected surprises. The H6 is a heavy-duty e-bike built for discerning riders and tough enough for the most demanding uses and environments. This is definitely not your father's e-bike. Up front, let me say that I'm not paid or sponsored by Wacky. I purchased my bikes with my own money. My opinions reflect my experiences with the bike and with the company. My first Wacky e-bike was purchased on Amazon and the choice was based on extensive research I did at the time. This review will be a little longer than normal because this bike has so much tech and a long list of special attributes. If you want to cut to the chase, buy this bike. If your riding is demanding, you need a bike built like a tank or you usually buy the best. The H6 folding frame has a rated load capacity of 360 pounds, and I think this is conservative. With four suspension systems and a long wheelbase, it delivers a very smooth and comfortable ride, even off-road. The bike is larger than other 20-inch bikes, with a length similar to a full-size 26-inch bike and a handlebar height that's considerably higher. The frame tubes are larger, and almost all of the bike is comprised of the central frame structure. The folding frame has been substantially beefed up with a new design that telescopes the rear frame tube into the front frame tube at the hinge point. This adds considerable strength against torsional loads and contributes to the high load capacity. The frame is also fully boxed behind the seat, so it can securely house the second battery while maintaining the high structural integrity consistent with the bike's excellent design. The 750 watt motor is what's needed for the speed and power you'd expect from a top of the line bike. The bike's two batteries make for a whopping 35 amp hour capacity, far exceeding that of any bike I've seen and delivering an estimated range of well over 100 miles. In case you were wondering, the other battery is housed in the bike's main tube. The bike is fully operational with either battery removed and presumably charging. The bike is extremely powerful and fast, quickly reaching 33 miles per hour before caution and good sense took over. The new full-color display is by far the most advanced available with a beautiful analog dial and two digital modes, with eight metrics so you'll know everything from power usage to ambient temperature. Of course, it has an 8-speed Shimano Hyperglide derailleur and up to nine electric power modes. New with this model is a gorgeous taillight and brake light, featuring the smooth, even lighting you see on taillights of luxury cars. The bike has a low standover height, so riders at 5'6 can easily and safely ride this bike but it's also a good fit for the tallest of riders up to six foot four. Paradoxically, the excellent folding design, including the folding stem, compacts the bike into a surprisingly small space. Walkie is known for its well-built carriers, but this bike goes to a whole new level. The carrier is actually part of the frame. As shipped, the bike has a pretty comfortable seat pad, but I took this off and strapped on my carrier bag. If I needed to move cargo, I could easily attach a bin or box, a good sized pack, or camping gear. This bike would also be unbeatable if you're towing a trailer. The bike features Wacky's excellent polymer fenders. I much prefer these over metal fenders because they're quiet, lightweight, and very resilient. The H6 has a dual cylinder rear suspension, pneumatic dual front suspension, a suspension seat post, and a sprung seat. Add the fat tires to these four suspension elements and you're very well isolated from the shocks and bumps of rough terrain. This has got to be the most comfortable bike you can get, floating over the train like a luxury vehicle. One thing that really surprised me was the brakes. I thought the excellent 180 mm brakes on my X3 Pro were the best, but the hydraulic brakes on the H6 looked like what you'd see on a supercar. Beefy ventilated discs under oversized brake pads and calipers can stop this bike so fast it's scary. The bike is powered by you pedaling, the electric motor, or both. The 750 watt motor is very powerful and can take you past 30 miles per hour. The premium 8-speed Shimano derailleur shifts smoothly and quietly without the clunky changes you may remember from older or lower end bikes. The W-Pass power assist system automatically helps you pedal, lightening the load and making demanding riding a whole lot less demanding. The bike also has cruise control, a must have for frequent riders. Hold the bike at a steady speed for 5 seconds and the system takes over holding that speed until you brake or increase the throttle. This brings me to the display. As usual, Waki has the best display, with this iteration adding many new capabilities. The full color LCD display is simply gorgeous, reasonably readable in daylight, and adds many new metrics. This is a far cry from the basic gray LCD displays found on almost all other e-bikes. 
The bike comes with two mirrors, but they're factory mounted too far inboard to work very well. I moved them to the outer ends of the handlebars and this produced excellent visibility. The folding operation of the bike is reasonably easy and makes it possible to store or transport the bike in places and in ways not possible with most e-bikes. Walkie added an integrated handle to make folding even easier. The terrific fold-down function of the stem really reduces the bike's dimensions and makes the folded bike surprisingly compact. Both the 14 amp hour battery contained in the main tube and the massive 21 amp hour battery below the seat are key locked to the bike for security. At a monstrous 35 amp hour total, the bike has two and a half times the battery capacity of normal high end e bikes. The Waukee engineers also built a tilt function into the seat so it doesn't interfere with removing and inserting the big battery. The early model I got didn't have Waukee's beefy folding pedals, but the company supplied me with a set when I requested them. I rode the bike extensively since it arrived with over 100 miles on suburban streets and rural roads and another 100 miles in a hilly mountain area with off-road riding on forest trails and very rugged dirt roads, trails too steep and rugged for most vehicles. I took off the padded seat that comes with the bike, removing a single screw unlocks it and it can be slid a small distance so the four sturdy mounts release from the keyholes. Although the seat could theoretically carry another person, there are no footrests making the idea impractical and probably legally dubious. Strapping down my bike bag, I was ready to go. The excellent suspension made riding comfortable and the more upright riding position really reduced the load on my back and arms. The stock seat is much more comfortable than those I've experienced on all other bikes and also most aftermarket seats. I could ride this bike all day and pretty much any distance. The suspension post under the seat also helps isolate your body from the terrain. At first I found it a little weird with the seat sinking a bit when I sat down and then rising when I dismounted. Fortunately the bike is provided with both a suspension post and a standard post so you can have the bike with or without. I had planned to switch to the non-suspended post but I have to confess I haven't done so. Once again I'm impressed with Walkie for providing both and giving us a choice. The 20 inch wheels confer some unexpected advantages. First, the bike is agile, turning quicker and more precisely than my 26-inch bike. This was very apparent off-roading and gave me an edge on particularly challenging terrain. Second, there's a significant torque advantage to the smaller wheels. The 750-watt motor may provide the same power as my X3 Pro, but the H6 gets it to the ground more quickly and more authoritatively. This really showed on some rocky 30-degree grades. Mountain riding is particularly demanding, especially when also off-road. It seems you are either braking on downhills or powering up long, steep, and sometimes very rugged uphills. This is no place to get maximum range out of an e-bike, and we'd return home with 50% battery for only 20 miles. This wasn't surprising given how hard the bike had to work. Other riders had considerably less. On paved roads in urban and suburban areas where I was providing muscle power and using the motor only for light assist, 12 miles gets me home with 94%. The bike's massive battery capacity far outshines the other bikes we own or have tested. Thanks to the dual battery setup and an isolator built into the bike, it's also possible to ride with one battery where the other is left behind on the charger. The electronics are the heart of an e-bike, and here the H6 is a standout. The display on the bike is very ambitious. It provides three main display modes and eight different metrics in two groups of four. I've never seen a system that provides this much information. In addition to battery charge, speed, motor current, motor power, the display can also show odometer, trip odometer, ride time, current wattage, battery voltage, battery current, and more. There are also indicators for the headlight and cruise control. One excellent attribute of the H6 electronics is that the speed and distance monitoring is not dependent on motor power. Many e-bikes get their information from the motor itself, and when it's not powered, speed and distance information is not available. A few systems can be equipped with secondary sensors to eliminate the issue, but this is mostly not done. With the H6, the bike always has speed and distance as long as the electronics are turned on. I have to say that the LCD display is no match for the gorgeous OLED displays on the Walkie X3 Pro and the A7 Pro bikes. I have to work to read it well, especially in my favorite dial mode where the fine lines and smaller numbers are harder to discern at a glance, but it's certainly better than my iPhone in direct sunlight. Fortunately, there are two digital modes where the dials are thicker and the numbers are larger. Like other walkie bikes, the display and controller have very good menus so you can tailor the way the bike works to your needs. The H6 has more parameters you can set than any bike I've seen so far. Despite the wealth of options, this new display has one deficiency that I'd like to see addressed. 
Like most other high-end bikes, you can choose whether the bike has three modes, five modes, or nine modes. Unlike most other high-end bikes, the speed or power for the modes cannot be customized. For most people, this won't be an issue, but if you're frequently riding with someone else, you can't tune your bike to their speed, so you have to constantly modulate your speed to stay with them. The controller also has a much more sophisticated algorithm for matching motor power to your intent. When you're using the throttle, you can modulate it to get any amount of speed you desire. When you pedal, the motor will gently assist helping maintain your current speed. If you pedal harder to a higher speed, the motor will assist more and maintain your new speed. In practice, this feels much more natural, but is different enough from my other bikes that it took a bit of time to get used to. The bike also has a cruise control. In my view, this is a must-have for a high-end bike. Frequent long rides are much more pleasant with cruise, and if you're commuting on your e-bike, it's practically a necessity. My 18-month relationship with the company has been excellent. My circle of friends now owns more than 10 walkie bikes, and the company has been responsive to every question and has shipped replacement parts when something breaks or gets broken. In my opinion, the H6 is the king of e-bikes. It has more power, more range, more capability, and more high-quality features and options than any other bike. It's a comfortable and powerful ride and gives the rider every amenity and capability. After a month of riding, I'm buying this bike. If you need this kind of transportation for work or a farm environment or for off-road use, this is an extremely sturdy and capable choice. If you want to know more about the Walkie H6, I've left the address of their website in the description or you can find it on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and be safe in your riding.